well, the boy's kind of small. George Shrinks. Oh, but it doesn't show at all. George Shrinks. Because he's always acting tall. George Shrinks. Oh, George Shrinks, George Shrinks, he's called. Oh, if a problem should be found. George Shrinks. Oh, he's the boy to have around. George Shrinks. Oh, something big or something small. George Shrinks. Oh, George Shrinks, George Shrinks, he's called. George Shrinks seems to find a way. To make his dreams come true each day His brother Junior does a call George Shrinks Well, Dad, blows a bugle call George Shrinks And Mama keeps an eye on George Shrinks 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 Mom always says the key to putting on a good show is to know your audience. And I knew my audience was going to be pretty difficult. Kindergartners, now that's a tough crowd. And that's why I was working overtime to get my act just right. I mean, the last thing you want out of a puppet is a wooden performance. And that's no lie. Now the guy with the bad nose job is Pinocchio. Every year, us bigger kids put on a show for the little kids at school. This year, Pinocchio, the toy who wanted to be a boy, will make them laugh, make them cry, and keep them glued to their seats. At least, uh, I hope it will. A long, long time ago, there lived... A princess? No, children, not a prince, or a princess, or a king. Long, long time ago, there lived... A piece of wood! A piece of wood that can walk, dance, fence, on guard, and turn somersaults. Oops. Ta da! Thank you. Thank you very much. No, no, it's too much, really. Ha, thank you. Bravo! Bravo! Huh? Encore! Encore! Oh, hi, Mom. Uh, I, I didn't hear you come in. Very nice work, George. You're quite the puppeteer. And quite the showman. <laughs> like mother, like son. Oh, performing with the Rockettes was nowhere near as hard as entertaining a room full of six-year-olds. You've built a Pinocchio that would make Geppetto proud. Thanks. It's Pulcinello and the rest of them I'm worried about. I don't know if I'll ever be ready. Uh, I still got lots and lots of rehearsing to do to get these puppets ready for the show. It looks like you're doing great. Don't forget, George, your audience will only have fun if you do. I don't have time to have fun. I've got too much work to do. Your dad and I will lend a hand when we get home from our dancing lesson. Oh, that must be Aunt Eunice now. The last time you saw the Shrinks Boys, you can barely crawl. You're really going to have some fun today. Junior and Little Georgie are such a hoot. Little Georgie? Well, well, little to me. He's your big cousin once removed. Uh, he's, he's your older cousin once removed. Let's just say he's your cousin once removed. Big Little Georgie? Oh, you'll love him. <laughs> George is a doll. Oh, well, I, I mean, not a real doll. I mean, he's... He's, he's real, but I mean... Oh, Perdita, so happy to see you. Hi, Eunice. And Skylar, what a nice surprise. Hi, Auntie Dita. Well, I hope you don't mind me dragging Skylar along. I thought it might be fun for Junior and George to have a playmate and to get to know their little relative. That's a wonderful idea. George, you remember Skylar? Your dad's cousin Tyler's little girl. Making her your cousin once removed. Hello, Skylar. Uh, sorry I can't chit chat just now. I've got a lot of serious work to do. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Junior, look who's here. Skylar? Oh, the last time I saw you, you were as tiny as a fiddle. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you're, you're practically a stand-up bass. Skylar? Skylar's here to play with you, Junior, while Dad and I go out for a bit. I want you to share your toys and to show your cousin... Once removed! A good time. Like the time we're gonna have. <laughs> tripping the light fantastic. <laughs> oh, tripping! Tripping! Whoa! No, looks to me like you tripped more than the light there, Harold Shrinks. <laughs> uh, 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 sorry, Perdita. Uh, afraid I slipped my dip. <laughs> I guess we'll have to work on that move. <laughs> That's the best idea I've heard in a long time. Bye, kids. Da 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 da. Have fun. Da 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 da. Well, Junior, what do you think of Skylar? Guess he needs to warm up to the idea. Skylar, play. Yeah! That's the spirit, Junior. There's nothing like spending quality time with Kith and Kim. In fact, this very special moment deserves a very special treat. It puts me in the mood to bake. How about I whip up my good old super gooey shoe pie pie while you kids play? Pie, 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 pie! pie, pie. pie. Oh, you two can play in here. As long as they won't bother you, George. Oh, they'll be fine. I'll keep an eye on them while I finish up my work. <laughs> A couple of little kids aren't gonna bother me. All righty then. Time to get shaking with the baking. <laughs> Looks good. Entrance, stage left. And to the fire with you, puppet. I'll use you to cook my chops. Oh, please, sir. Spare me. <laughs> the pardon is granted. I've been pardoned? Huh? I've been pardoned? Hooray! Hur Whoa! What in the world? <laughs> oh, no. Huh. <gasps> Whoa! Look out! Oh, whoa! Whoa! She just got here, and Skylar already has me climbing the walls. Phew. <gasps> Wait! Th that's not a toy! This is a toy! <laughs> All right! Everything under control, George? Uh, everything's under control, Aunt Eunice. Oh, in the name of Norman P. Rockwell, this little scene is as sweet as maple syrup. <laughs> oh, now that's a great idea. Hmm? Huh? What is? A little maple-flavored whipped cream would go perfectly on top of the shoe fly pie. Whippy cream! All righty, Junior. You can be the official maple whippy cream taster. Yay! How about you, Skylar? Want to be my official pie taster? <sighs> Me play Georgie. Are you sure she won't be in your hair, George? Don't worry, Aunt Eunice. I can take care of Skylar. <laughs> All righty, Junior. Let's go whip up some whipped cream. Yay! Whippy cream! 
I didn't lie. I could take care of Skylar. I just hadn't exactly figured out how... yet. Sure, Skylar might be a bit of a bother, but still, she was just a kid. I mean, if I was going to do a puppet show for a bunch of kindergartners, the least I could do was handle one little cousin. figure out how to handle her soon. Or else there might not be any puppets left to show. It just couldn't be that hard to entertain my little cousin once removed. Who, I have to admit, I was starting to wish was twice or even three times removed. If I could rig up a troop of lifelike marionettes, I should be able to find some way to keep Skylar occupied while I finished my work. The only question was... How? <laughs> no, Skylar! Nokia! I need to figure out a plan. And quick! Think, George, think! Aha! Kids love toys. And spotting toys for kids to love is a job for the Shrink's Toy Spotter Squadron. Commanded by yours truly. Commander Shrink's to headquarters. We're entering the toy zone. Over. Jigsaw puzzle at 10 o'clock. Negative. Too complicated. Pinball? Too hard. Models are too messy. Aha! Uh -huh. We have visual contact. Now to get my playful relative to play less messy. <laughs> Relatively speaking. It gets them every time. <laughs> what kid doesn't love blocks? My problem was solved. Junior and Aunt Eunice were safely occupied making pie and whipped cream, and Skylar would spend the rest of the afternoon building and knocking down block towers. Operation Distract a Cousin is a total... <gasps> failure. Play! 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 <laughs> exactly. Play. That's what the blocks are for. Play, George! Skylar doesn't want me to find her a toy to play with. Whoa! She thinks I am a toy to play with. Oh, no, you don't. It was time to jump to plan B. And plan B was jump. Play, George. Maybe I hadn't done a very good job of keeping Skylar occupied, but I sure wasn't about to sacrifice my Zuper car or my self-respect by letting her use me for a toy. <laughs> hey! Play, George! Uh, I'm uh, not exactly in the mood to play right now, thanks. Whoa! Ugh. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, hey, wait! Hey! George Nokio! George Nokio? Uh, no, Skylar. I'm not a puppet. If at first you don't succeed, uh, jump, jump again! Geronimo! Ugh. That was a drag, in every sense of the word. Georgie? It's time to end this game once and for all. Excuse me while I duck into a nearby couch. Another foot, and I'm in the... Dark? Play, George! Uh, Skylar? Uh, hello? <laughs> How about this for really getting into your work? Skylar? Here I am doing a show about a toy who wants to be a boy. <sighs> and Skylar thinks I'm a boy who should be her toy. Well, you couldn't accuse Skylar of being all talk and no action. In fact, she was pretty much nothing but action. Now, where did that mixing bowl get to? Ta-da! So, Junior, what do you think is the key ingredient in Aunt Eunice's extra delicious maple syrup and whipped cream shoe fly toppy? Hmm. Mino, Mino. Shoo, shoo. <laughs> oh, no, no, Junior. Not that kind of shoe. This kind.
kind of shoe. Shoe fly don't bother me. No shoe pie? The shoe fly pie is already cooking, Junior. We're going to work on whipping up a little maple whipped cream. First, a little whipping cream. Next, a little maple syrup. And last but not least, a little shoe fly. Shoe fly, shoe fly. Atta boy, Junior. Now keep that pesky fly shooed while I beat a hasty topping. In the name of Jonas T. Shulker Shack. Shoe fly? You know, Junior, I think we'll just let that fly be. Now, where were we? Skylar! Georgie? Skylar, put me down! Thank you. I think. Hang on a minute, Skylar. Uh, can, can, can we talk this over, uh, cousin to cousin? <laughs> I figured it was about time for me to ask Aunt Eunice to get Skylar out of my hair. Or should I say, get me out of Skylar's hands? <laughs> Shoot fly, don't bother me. One more second and perfect. Official whipped cream taster. How is it? Goody, goody. Goody, goody it is. Is that George? Uh-oh. Whoa! Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> Yee-haw! Play, Georgie, play! Look at those two having a grand old time. Oh, sounds like the pie is done. Pie, pie, pie. This is no time to run out of gas. Come on, just a little further, you can make it. Sorry, Skylar, but it's the end of the road for good old George. Georgie? Georgie, no play? <sighs> Finally, a little privacy. Now I can finish my puppets in peace. Except my puppets are probably already in pieces. Or they will be anyway once Skylar finishes with them. I'd escape Skylar's clutches safe and sound, but my puppets probably wouldn't be so lucky. There was nothing to do but go back out and save them. And besides, I had to get my sneaker back. Since I couldn't seem to soothe the savage toddler, I guess it was time to call in the Aunt Eunice Cavalry. But admitting defeat was hard. If I wasn't clever enough to keep just one kid occupied, what was I gonna do with a room full of six-year-olds? I didn't really have a choice. Saving my puppets was more important than saving my pride. How much pride could a puppetless puppeteer in one stocking foot have, anyway? Nokio! Nokio! No, Skylar! Bloody Nokio! <laughs> Those puppets aren't to play with. They're, they're, they're for my play. All right, Skylar. Give me back my puppet. George, no play puppet. What? George, play? You don't want to destroy, I mean, play with the puppets yourself. You want me to play with them for you? George, play puppets! So that's what you've been trying to tell me all along. All right, Skylar, I'll make you a deal. You can watch while I play puppets on one condition. That you give me back my sneaker. Thank you. 
Okay, Skylar, I'll fix you up with some great seats. Orchestra on the aisle. Don't worry, they're comps. Cousins and gentlemen, please take your seats. The show is about to begin. Oh, careful, Junior. <gasps> this pie is piping hot. Shoe fly? That's right, Junior. Aunt Eunice's shoe fly pie special. But if any flies do come along, you leave the shoeing to me, okay? Okay, Auntie Eunice. Now, some fresh whipped cream, some plates, and... Help! Help! <gasps> Someone help me, please! And what in the world is going on out there? Oh. <laughs> Will you look at that? Me watch? Why, certainly, Junior. Climb up on the couch and I'll finish preparing the refreshments. Goodness gracious, this domestic tableau does warm the cockles of my heart. Pinocchio put the coins in his mouth and proceeded to cross a deep, dark wood when... Uh-oh. What? Uh-oh, Georgie. Ah, oh, Pinocchio is going to be chased by a fox and a cat, but I don't have a fox or cat puppet. What am I going to do? Hey, you two wouldn't want to pretend to be a fox and a cat and try to catch Pinocchio, would you? It's for the good of the show. Meow. Yep, yep. <laughs> I had a feeling you might. Someone help me, please! Meow. Yep, yep. Meow. Yep. So, after all that, Skylar just wanted to have a little fun and be entertained. Which was pretty much perfect, since the whole point of working on a puppet show was to make it fun and entertaining. All right, the fox and the cat take five. You too, Pinocchio. I'll take the blue fairy through wardrobe. Pinocchio. Nah. <sighs> Nothing like a little hot cocoa to wash down a slice of shoe fly pie. I've got to hand it to you, George. You sure know how to handle little kids. Thanks, Aunt Eunice. Shoe fly. But why are my good friends chasing me? As Pinocchio slept, he dreamed. He dreamed that a beautiful blue fairy kissed, I mean, shook his hand and told Pinocchio that in reward for his kind heart and good work. Oh my, how on earth did he do that? A little puppet would become a real live boy. Daddy, daddy, look at me. I'm a real boy. So you are, my boy. So you are. I'm so happy to finally be a real boy and not some silly wooden toy. Huh. I couldn't have said it better myself. George! Yay, little big Georgie! That's my nephew! on up, kids. It's your turn. Mom might be the performer in the family, but my little cousin once removed taught me a little something, too. All along, I thought I had to keep her away from my puppets. But once I got Skylar and Junior involved, well, I guess you have to say we all lived happily ever after. The thing about kids is they're pretty sure to have a good time as long as you're having one, too. I guess that's why they call them plays. 
When it was all said and done, the show went over pretty well. Thanks to a bit of hard work, mixed up with a whole lot of fun. <laughs>